Hey guys! Welcome back! How's it going? You know what we're doing today. You've seen the title. Do I really need to explain? But I will anyway because why not? We're watching Agatha episode 5. Check out the other ones if you haven't already. They'll be somewhere around here. I don't know. I don't really have any thoughts. I just want to kind of get into this. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on my socials. I'll put my letterbox down there as well because I like my letterbox and I feel like I never really shout that out. Oh yeah, if you want to see the full length episode by episode reactions with me, they'll be available down below on my Patreon. That's right. Oh my god, yeah, they showed this in Wanda, didn't they? Like, we saw this in WandaVision. They said reduce, reuse, recycle with that video footage. The Salem 7. Oh, we're finally gonna see the Salem 7 again? Because they've been MIA. Agatha, that boy isn't yours. I'm kind of concerned that this means she's just not gonna care for Teen at all now. Like, she's just gonna kind of throw him away. Wake thy power. God, some of the little episode titles give me Sabrina Spellman vibes, like from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina with their spells, they would say. They got some moves though. I don't know if I can actually hate the seven because they kind of have a vibe and aesthetic. I know what they're selling to me and it's a threat. They're coming. I've got old lady still alive. I thought she was eliminated. And I also could not tell you any of these women's names so far, except for Agatha and Teen. That's not even a name. I don't even know Aubrey's name. Original coven by stealing their power because her own mother tried to have her executed. Are you really defending Amy? Yeah, she's defending. She's defending her woman. I know that's right. Let's go, lesbians, let's go. What about a hex and bust room? Horrible, yeah. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. Well, if you're all too cool for practical means of escape. Honestly though, what's so wrong about a broom? Like, let them fly away. Let them hogwarts their asses out of here. And I don't think we see witches enough on brooms in modern day TV. Get them on their brooms. Get them back to work. <clears throat> it's about selflessness, teen. Oh, is it? Tell us more. <laughs> we fly together or- <gasps> An owl. Oh, no. oh my God, they're here. They said we don't have the budget to be flying them up in the air like that. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, wait, no, we are having the budget for it. Okay, shocker. We have the budget. This is actually shocking. I know it's Marvel. I know they have money. But in these times, I'm not sure if they do. And I'm not sure if they're willing to put the money into all of their shows like this. Isn't this show like one of the lowest budgets they've used in a while? Don't quote me on that, but I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> they did that right. If you're gonna have witches, have them against the moon. Have them in the skylight. As a witch, I personally would not care about stereotypes if it meant I could do this. Like, why would I care? This looks so freeing. It looks so fun. Mine is the part where I'm scared of heights. The next trial. Is it another house? Because I swear to God, they just said put them in a house every single episode. It's a house. It's another house. This kind of gives Stranger Things aesthetic, and I know oh, they were filming in like the what was it, the 80s, 70s time period. Which trial is this? Agatha's. Wait, this is Agatha's? Oh, this is her challenge, basically. Not witches being scared of a little witchy woo magic happening. <laughs> Wouldn't you think they'd be like that every day? We have to Ouija. <gasps> they have to Ouija. <laughs> that sounds so unserious. Oh my god, not us having another 30 minute timer again as well. They really are just rinsing and repeating their concept from day one. And I get it, it makes sense for the road. But it is very repetitive, this show at this point. And I can't tell if I don't like that part of it or if I do. Like, I like the aesthetics they're showing. Like, I think visually it looks quite pleasing. I just don't know if storytelling wise, I'm enjoying the fact that it's the same thing again and again. These circumstances, remove your hand from the planchette. If you do so, a spirit will be released. Wow! The spirit of Christmas! What does that say on the back then? For ages three and up. <laughs> Lee Michelle who? She's illiterate. She's made it that old and she still can't read. Embarrassing. Mother Maiden Crone. They do this in Sabrina as well. Mother Maiden Crone. And they've got Nicholas Scratch. Don't tell me they did take some inspo. Is Agatha messing with them? Who do we have the pleasure of communing with? Your mom. Um. <laughs> Mrs. Hart? 
emotional damage. Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. So casual. She's ready to party. She's like, yeah. Conspiracy theories on Facebook, drinking before noon, and there you were. Look, I'm not hating on the acting, but this feels more like a mockery of Mrs. Hart than it does feel like Mrs. Hart herself. She's just scared. Okay, so it was a mockery of her. So I was spot on. Okay, the acting is that good then. I thought that was pretty good. The clock is ticking. The actress she is, because I wasn't doubting her, but I was like, it feels more like a mockery than an actual possession. E. A. D. T. O. T. H. And I. Oh! Death. They're literate. Thank God. Con confirmation. P. P. U. Pussy. Punish. Punish. It's a kinky ghost up here. Hide the rope. <laughs> the visuals are visualing though. Like I do like the aesthetic and the creepiness that this show does have the potential to have at times. I just wish they'd lean into it a bit more here and there. Punish Agatha. We need to. Yep. It's how we pass the trial. Oh, who knows? <laughs> and after ask me why I don't have female friends. <laughs> mm. we were doing a Not the take she thought it was. They actually had rope in there? I was joking. That's actually disturbing and kind of gross. Not her saying she's faking it again. But this would be the performance of a lifetime. Oscar nomination worthy. Where is she? Aubrey's not here to play. And you fools have willingly joined her. Stop embarrassing me in front of my friends, Mom. So That's her mum? They have unfinished business. So let's finish her business. <laughs> what do you- Wow, the writer's pen was on fire. Yeah, well, her mother can't have her. She said, that's my girlfriend. You were born evil. <laughs> I ought to have killed you the moment you left my- <laughs> I don't wonder she's had a villain origin story. I can be good, please. No. Oh, she's stealing her power though now? Oh. Just after she said, I can be good, and then she steals someone's power source. Is that gonna eliminate her? A C R A T Z bitch. Nicholas Scratch. I thought they were like Scarlet Witch. Nicholas Scratch! Oh, Nicholas Scratch! I know it's not gonna be my Sabrina, Chilly Adventures of Sabrina boy. That's definitely not him. They could have done such a cool, weird universe thing there. Wait, is she eliminated then? Like, she's not made it through the road. She's gone. Alice, please wake up. Her name was Alice. First time I'm hearing her name. Well, rest in peace. The spell, the, the soul is just spell. Alice, please wake up. Alice, Alice, come on. Alice, come on. Okay, well, another only issue with these kind of scenes right now, like, yes, the acting's good, but they've known each other for like a day or two, so it doesn't feel as believable that the impact would be that strong on them. I get it teens young, but still. But okay, we've had our second fatality. I'm loving that there's fatalities. I say kill more of them. Killing people to serve your own agenda? No. Not for me. I did not realize Joe Locke's kind of tall. Are you sure? That's honestly the creepiest part of the show so far. This whole interaction is so unsettling. She knows? Or is she saying that to mess with his head? Stop! Wait! Stop! Why are you Wait, is this still the punishment? Is this still maybe part of the punishment then? We know that they have not killed Agatha off on her own show. Or oh, the whole cast? <laughs> they thought they were safe. You could never trust a man. That was such a perfect song choice. But I don't know what that means. I feel really stupid. Like, it was cool, but I don't know what that means. I couldn't tell you. Is it he is Scarlet's son? Well, Wanda's son? Is that what they're trying to say? Let me know, because the dots aren't connecting. It looked cool. They have nailed... Like, they've knocked it out of the park with the endings of the episodes. But this is the one where I actually don't know what they mean. 
But also, I just wanted to say that was such a jarring end of the episode. It just felt the tone shifted completely because, like, the part in the house was so short. I'm also interested to see how they're going to get out of that because, obviously, they're not going to die. They're not killing off, like, 90% of the cast. I'll do some deep diving now. But anyway, choose one of these. Feel free. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. I'm still baffled.